welcoming innovation and new ideas from those we employ and serve. Welcome to Chicago at Play. Today, we're gathered here at what was formerly known as the 31st Street Beach. A beach that has historic significance. I'm proud to say that it's going to be called Dr. Margaret Burroughs Beach and Park. Uh, nearly 30 acres, which ma makes it larger than uh, Millennium Park or Maggie Daly Park. It is an integrated beach with all nationalities here. And that's what Dr. Burroughs worked for. She worked to bring us together as one humankind. And I know that Margaret's spirit is here with us. Dr. Margaret Burroughs was an activist, an artist, and an important part of Chicago history. Together with her husband, she founded the DuSable Museum of African American History. She was totally dedicated and committed to those things that she believed in. And she did them all the way up to the last moment. What this shows is that we can all work together. Whether we're an Xer or a millennial or a boomer, we can all work together to bring our community together and move forward. Congressman Rush spearheaded the effort from the legislative side. The legislators, the park district, the local electeds, and the civic community all rallied together. And when all those groups are together, they're not going to stop until they get results. And in this case, I'm glad to say we got it right. And you know, this, this 30 acres behind me is going to be named after and forevermore Dr. Margaret Burroughs Beach and Park. Dr. Margaret Burroughs also loved parks and served on the Chicago Park District Board of Commissioners for 25 years. That's how I, I got to know Margaret. She was a leader in the community. She was the founder of the DuSable Museum. She was an artist, she was a poet, and she was an inspirational leader. People who knew Margaret, it wasn't necessarily her rhetoric or her fist pounding or her chest thumping that got Margaret to move people. It was through reason, it was through kindness, and it was through love. And certainly anybody who's ever met Margaret couldn't help but love her and was inspired by her actions. Dr. Burroughs was a resident of this community, a champion of the city of Chicago, of the park district, of uh, African Americans, of culture. And that's why we named this beach and this park after Margaret Burroughs, and so that our young people have folks to look up to. The beach itself is part of Chicago history, the site of the beginnings of the 1919 Chicago race riots. Now it's a stunning piece of land full of families enjoying days at the beach. In my opinion, the Park District has made a tremendous gesture of absolute owner importance to our community, to the city, by bringing forth Marlon Burroughs. First of all, you should come because it's beautiful. And 31st Street is the harbor system and the playground and the parkland are like no other in the city of Chicago. The beach is beautiful. It's packed right now with kids and families. It's easy to get to. There's plenty of parking, especially during the work week. You know, now it's got this added features. It's, it's named after Margaret Burroughs, which maybe you get some inspiration while you're at the beach.